If you could go back in time and change one thing, what would it be? If I could go back in time and tell myself one thing, it would be this, stay out of the sun. But why, you may ask, the sun is great. It's a source of vitamin D, it keeps us warm, and it can give us some pretty nice looking tans. But that's the problem, the nice looking tan. Unfortunately, it's only a matter of time before that nice looking tan turns into some deadly looking skin cancer. Don't believe me? Well, let's start off with a case study. Chelsea is a 20 year old female from Virginia, USA. She would visit the tanning salons a few times a year, especially before major events, where she would tan up to three to four times a week. Chelsea figured that going a few times a year would be fine. She was young and healthy, so she figured the chance of her getting cancer was pretty low. Chelsea thought wrong. When she was 23, she noticed a mole on her back began scabbing and occasionally leaking some clear fluid. She immediately got it removed and thought that was the end of it. Sadly, the doctors discovered that the mole they removed tested positive for skin cancer, and unfortunately, the cancer had spread. Chelsea had been diagnosed with melanoma. Melanoma is a very dangerous form of skin cancer. The cancer occurs when cells are exposed to ultraviolet or UV radiation. This radiation is produced from the sun and tanning beds. Skin cells become damaged and begin to grow out of control, forming tumors. Exposure to UV radiation from tanning beds and the sun play the leading role in cancer formation. Melanoma is the eighth most common cancer in Canada, with approximately 5,500 Canadians diagnosed in 2011 and 950 dying of it. Scary stuff, right? So how do I know if I have it? There's something called the ABCDEs of melanoma. It goes as follows. A. Asymmetry. Is the mole an odd shape? B. Border. Uneven borders are raised or notched are signs of melanoma. C. Color. Multicolored moles are a warning sign. Watch out for colors like black, brown, white, red, and even blue. D. Diameter. Melanoma moles are usually larger than 6 millimeters. E. Evolving. Melanoma often changes over time, whether that be in size, texture, or color. However, melanoma isn't the only form of skin cancer you can get from UV exposure. Basal cell carcinoma is the second most common form of skin cancer after melanoma. And yes, you can get this from tanning beds as well. As you can see, it looks quite different from melanoma. Although it's less deadly than melanoma, if it isn't treated promptly, it can result in severe disfigurement and skin abnormalities. For both cancers, those who are at greatest risk are fair-skinned people, immunosuppressed, and those with a family history of skin cancer. The more sunburns correlate to having a higher risk for skin cancer. So this may lead some of you to ask, I never burn, I only tan, so does this mean I'll never get skin cancer? No. Just because you've never been burned does not mean you're not at risk. Tanning is your body's way of protecting itself from UV radiation you're exposing it to. The darker the tan means the more damage your skin has received. Ouch. So now that you understand what a tan is and how cancer is formed, let's address some more common misconceptions about tanning. 1. Tanning beds are less harmful than the sun. False. UV radiation is dangerous regardless of the source, whether it's natural sun or the artificial light in a tanning bed. They both put you at risk for developing skin cancer. Some researchers have even suggested UV radiation from tanning beds may be more concentrated than that from the sun. Yikes. 2. Base tans reduce your risk of getting skin cancer because the tan is building gradually. This is also false. Base tanning is the process of getting a tan from a tanning bed in hopes of not getting burned from the sun. A tan is skin damage regardless of how slowly you get one. There are various methods you can use to reduce your risk of skin cancer. 1. Avoid tanning beds. UV radiation is damaging regardless of the source. 2. Cover up. Wear hats, sunglasses, and long sleeves if possible. 3. Lather up. Apply sunscreen with an SPF of 30 or greater to receive the most protection. 4. Remember to see your dermatologist or family physician if you see concerning moles or freckles. So in summary, although tanning beds may be tempting, it's important to understand the risks from using them. The best skin is healthy skin, so try to be comfortable in your own. Thanks for watching.